Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your book into ACX so you can get it onto Audible. Now, ACX is the gateway that is used by Amazon to get your products into Audible. But they have really, really tightened down and I mean, tighten down their requirements. So what I'm going to be doing in today's video is just showing you some of the things that I had to go through to get that darn thing onto Audible. It's going to be under review like they typically do. It's going to take a long time, probably miss the Christmas season, but I've had to do a couple of things that just, oh my gosh, just breaks your head, right? So, hey, you know, before we get started on that, you know, like the show, like the channel, you know, I am absolutely obsessed with helping people monetize their life and make money from their life. And we're going to be using all of the strategies. You guys know if you've seen the channel before, we use all of the strategies that the gurus talk about, right? We use email marketing and, I, and we use every single thing we possibly can to monetize the things that you might be doing already, right? Monetize your life. So we're going to be getting into that a little bit. But first, I wanted to uh, make sure that if you are going to be doing audiobooks, right? Because you got a couple of gurus running around there on the, on YouTube saying, "Hey, you know, all you have to do is this." Well, not really, right? Now, if you want to sell your audiobook in a different way, sure, you can, you know, do your files and you can put it on your Gum Roads or you know. Dropbox, or you can use um, We Transfer to then transfer your files to other people. But if you want to get it into uh, Audible, you got to go through the process that they say go through. So let me go ahead and uh, have you take a look at this. Watch this. Okay, so here we are. We're over at the ACX interface, the platform. If you don't already have an account, you want to go ahead and sign up. I'm not going to show you that part. Sign up with ACX, and I can tell you. They have said to me, because they've had so many submissions, I mean, the pandemic of 2020, people got a lot of time. They says, hey, let's do an audio book. So I says, hey, I've been doing audio books for a long time now, so I'm going to do my own, right? Now, I didn't read it. I had a reader do it, uh, paid a guy to go ahead and read the 15 chapters. Okay, so here it is. Um, I put it on here. I, I took it from a podcast that I do with uh, John Hendershop, uh, the mastermind of two business guys. It was volume one because we're going to be doing uh, other ones. The guy's got, excuse me, I, I had a, a really bad cold last week. And I mean, I've taken all the tests. It's not COVID-19. It's literally just a cold, right? So anyway, <clears throat> so here it is. Pending audio review. This is one of the things that they're going to say to you once you upload your pieces of information. They're going to say, hey, we have to review this and we're going to put it through the ringer. Now, I thought because I've got other audiobooks on here that it was going to be an easy process. And let me tell you, it is not. All right. So one of the things you know, I haven't sold any units yet. Why? Because guess what? They are still pending the audio it is still under review. So they're going to go through all of the stuff. But what they do, once you get on to uh, ACX and you're able to get into it, they'll give you a link. You'll be able to take that link and I'll put that link in a lot of different areas. You'll uh, also be able to, and what I like about this is that you can offer a little higher price, right? Because it may have cost you um, some money to get that darn thing made. And, but in audio format, man, I tell you, it is so forgiving. This is one of the reasons why I like it. You know, if you make a mistake, typically, you know, in your writing or if the addiction's not right or something just didn't come together right, it is very noticeable in writing. But when you do it in the audio format, it's a little more forgiving, all right? Just think about the audios that you've heard of, uh, you've heard quite recently, audiobooks. And, you know, depending on who is reading it, it becomes a situation where you go, hey, you know, this is all right. All right. Anyway, uh, let me get into it. All right. So I'm going to go over here uh, and show you they've got a lot of instructions. So within the instructions, you have a great opportunity to find out how to do what you need to do. OK, how it works. Uh, and then, you know, all this good stuff here. Right. 
how to promote yourself. It's got some really good stuff. I kind of am a little frustrated with them now, but that's simply because, well, they're kind of, you know, bugging me, right? <laughs> but uh, uh, if you want to, again, go through this particular route, it is a very good way to get your stuff right on the Audible. In fact, it's the only way to get it on the Audible. But it's uh, it, it gives you a link, and it's just some cool stuff. And you could do some other things I can show you a little bit later uh, on ACX because you can literally promote ACX, right? Look at this. They talk about uh, video lessons and resources. So these are things that if you're thinking about doing it yourself, just know if you do it yourself, come on now, you got to do it just right. All right, so let's go into about this title, the production, hot off the presses. You get a chance to put all that information in there. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and click on here to see how we can get over to it. Um, I really love this part though, uh, being able to go from start to zero, right? From start to zero. I mean, from zero start and all the way to the production of your audiobook. Now, here's what I wanted to say to you guys. Right now, they have had so many people that have come and put their books and stuff onto audio, uh, onto ACX, that they are backed up. And I mean backed up. They sent me an email and it says, hey, we're backed up. Right now, we don't have the time, in essence, to not have a book that is everything they say. Now, when they sent mine back, what they said was, it says, hey, there was extraneous noise. And they says, you can't have mouse clicks. So what did I do? I went and I got a mouse that is quiet. Okay, that makes sense because sometimes when I'm doing some of my e-courses and I'm doing some of the, the monetize your life things, right? I, I, I don't want to hear click noises. So it was a really cool thing. I thought, well, great. All right, no click, is, no click noises. So I sent it back to my guy that did the reading and I says, okay, this is what they're saying. And then another one was, they says, well, we noticed that, um, that the, your introduction and your opening credits were run, ran it all together or something. I don't know. So I had them separate everything out. They don't want any of that stuff in because I guess it confuses people when they're listening, whatever. In other words, it's very tight, very stringent. You just have to be aware of that and do every single thing that they say because get this there's been a lot of time that has passed because time has passed guess what now i'm missing out on some of the best times to uh, to sell the book and all that kind of stuff right and it took oh my gosh it was at least 30 days before they got back to me only to tell me that well it's not totally 100 percent the way we want it okay fine right so you kind of go well all right acx I'll do it the way you want. But again, you have a chance to have every single thing that you need right there. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab the title. And then what I'm going to do is, let's see, if you want to add a title, what you could do is do it right here. Add a title that allows you the opportunity to put your book in there. So that's really, really key. You want to do that. Okay. So here it is. Look at this. Um, we have a, I'm going to show you this part of it. This is really how, once you upload it, man, this is the interface you're going to be looking at, okay? So you got the upload manager here. They've got an audio uh, analysis for you to run it through if you believe there may be some extra noise in the background. Sometimes my uh, furnace comes on, right? If I don't forget to turn it off. It can get kind of loud in the uh, home office, right? So these are little extraneous noise, right? And uh, the mouse clicks and all that kind of stuff. Anything that's not related to the production of your, uh, if it's not related to the production of that particular chapter, okay? So that's what they talk about. Now, let me go ahead and show you how it looks. There's going to be some things that they require. Opening credits. Right. In this particular case, I was able to go back in and add an introduction because that's that was key. Right. Then you get into your chapters. You have a chance to upload the chapters. You know, if you now it's already done now. But typically, if you go back in and you have to correct something, it'll give you a button that says, OK, I need to make a change. 
and then you make that change and you upload it you have all of your information here you get a chance to put it all in right they just are got they've just gotten so picky lately and one of the things that you don't want to have is big mistakes when it's going to take a long time already you want to make sure that thing is as perfect as possible but here's the closing credits they ask, ask for a retail audio sample and this is something that i don't recall but uh, they ask that you have a paperback version already on amazon right so that's interesting isn't it now you can get by in another way if you want to just do an audiobook you can and I'm going to show you some of the equipment that I use some of the equipment that I use to do my recordings as you notice behind me you've got uh, a, a particular mic and then I've got the USB mic that I, that I just absolutely love the Blue Yeti I love the Blue Yeti mic because you could just plug that darn thing in into a USB port and you're ready to go and it's got really really good sound you see I've got the the uh, I got the the, uh, the pop shield you know to keep the peas and the p -p 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 from happening and all that kind of stuff so these are just some little little tools that you can use I'll leave some of that information in the description field on some of the things that I use even the new mouse that I got right that is gonna help and it's quiet. I mean, it is a whisper quiet. But these are just some of the things that I want to let you know that when you're going to be doing your audiobook, there are you're going to want to get it into um, Audible. It is you're going to have to go through a rigorous, rigorous uh, process. But that might be kind of good, right? Because you know you got a lot of people that are trying to put their stuff into the marketplace right now and it's just sounding terrible right so if they're very very rigorous with you then they're rigorous with everybody else the problem is of course it's just taking a forever time to get past that if you want to get your blue yeti mic or get yourself another uh, another mic like this I'll, I'll leave that one in the description field too you can record it and something that i do i'm going to show you this now I use the Zoom, right? This thing right here, not Zoom as in the recording stuff, but this Zoom right here, this is a big deal. And you can, with this, record and you actually put your recorders, it's right there on a, a nice little SD card. You take that out, you can send that out to people that can improve the sound, can add things for you, all of that good stuff. Now that hooks up to this mic right here right now this is a a condenser mic and it's a heavy duty deal now the great thing about doing it that way is that now you can record all of your stuff you can run it through the quality checks over at acx to see if it works if it doesn't work you can then take that file send it over to fiverr or somebody like that have somebody you know fix it up for you and then resubmit it but if you do it right the first time you shouldn't have a problem now again think about the mic that i'm using now this is a very sensitive mic the blue yeti man i tell you that thing will pick up an ant you know walking across the floor right so you have to be careful with the extraneous sounds that they don't like it picks up before i had this particular uh mouse i got a couple computers in here and watch this you can hear that you hear that I mean that thing can get kind of loud but this one right it is whisper quiet so that becomes the opportunity for you to say okay do I have the equipment that I need to do my audiobook and can I get it done quickly can I get it done fast get it out there and get it checked I tell you you can you do some things like this there's some strategies now this is a book that I'm going to be writing here pretty soon and this is a little old school but I tell you what you, you can use new school old school I just like using these because I can move them around I might see something um, in a chapter format that I say ah, I don't really like that I want to change some stuff around so using some three by five cards five by sevens whatever you want to use to then place those cards in a manner that you can look at them and then start recording your audiobook. Okay, now I tell you, 
it is one of the best ways that you can keep yourself together. You know, I got a whole course on how to get your first draft done fast, right? And I'm talking about like in a weekend. If you want to get involved in that, I'll probably leave you a link so that you can you know, get over to that course too. But anyway, so hopefully this has been an opportunity for you guys to see that ACX is not playing when it comes to getting your books into Audible. They're saying we get, we're getting too much junk. Do it right. Do it well the first time. If you want some extra instruction, I will literally walk you through the process and show you some of the things, some of the mics and stuff like that, all the good stuff that you're going to need to get that thing done right. I can even introduce you to my my, uh, my voice record guy if you want to. He uh, does a fantastic job with my stuff. And um, if you have any other questions, I'll leave some information for you in the description field. Again, hopefully this has been some value to you. I want you to like the channel. I want you to hit the bell notification. You know, guys, I am obsessed with helping people monetize their lives, right? And that's because, hey, listen, I remember when... There were times when I literally, literally had to figure out a new way to earn a living outside of the nine to five way, taking care of a sick parent, right? And, uh, you know, having been laid off from a job, all that kind of stuff really just drove me to say, I have to figure out a new way to earn a living, right? And then I started taking a look at, hey, I, I had some schooling. I've learned some things. I've made some mistakes. So how can I take pieces of my life and monetize it and use all of the tools that are available to us right now? All the stuff that the gurus talk about. How can we take these pieces of information and put it together and make money from it? I've been able to perfect it. I've been able to create digital product upon digital product. And now I just want to show you how to do the same thing. So this channel is dedicated to doing just that. We bring all kinds of cool stuff in and say, can we monetize this? Can we allow ourselves the best opportunity to earn a living so that we can now get freedom in our life? We can travel, right? When we can get out there and travel again, we can, you know, get a piece of information, see something written and go, wow, maybe I can monetize this. Take a book, monetize that and just make money from our lives. I'm obsessed with it. I hope you guys have a chance to see that all the stuff that I'm connecting is for the benefit of how you can do it too. And if you look at me and go, hey, look, if that dude can do it, I know I can do it, then I've done my work. All right, guys, I got to go right now. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I send ACX a message saying, okay, I've done everything you asked me to do. Now get my book into uh, the opportunity to get it into the hands of people that want to buy it. All right. Hey, guys, we'll talk to you next time and enjoy the rest of your day.